Okay, this is a short demonstration of uh, what I've come up with so far. Uh, the air system is not installed yet. The solenoid valve is hooked up. Uh, so if you hear a clicking noise, that's the, uh, the air valve kicking in. And uh, so basically the small tube here, that there will be a second hose for the air right beside the coolant. And I'm actually thinking about maybe angling the air a little bit at a different angle uh, so I can rotate that uh, so the coolant drips out here and then the, the air blast will be directly on that separate from the uh, from the coolant nozzle so I'll have to experiment with that maybe I'll make a separate fitting with uh, I can adjust and separate the angle between the two of them but uh, that's another that's another video. Uh, so here's the knobs. So the knobs turn the same direction, so if I same as if I was sitting here turning like this. So each knob Sweep the sweep knob here controls the uh, so I basically have it set to about 60 degrees. So even though the, the sweep angle is at the maximum of 60 degrees, and the angle of the nozzle is also 60 degrees. So, uh, and the sweep always starts at the bottom of the tool, it works its way up. So, basically, what I do is Aim it at the bottom, aim the stream at the bottom, and then adjust the angle to work my way up. And so, okay, I'll demonstrate a tool change here. So that basically what it'll do is it'll start from the bottom position here, sweep up and down about three times, and on the on the fourth time down it'll turn the air valve off so the air is not blasting down directly on the table here, so it shuts it off early on its way down, and then it parks here so the coolant's dripping down here. I might adjust this angle out a little bit more so that it's actually going shooting out off the sides here. Uh, and then after you do a tool change, they'll go back to the original position. And even if even if it's sweeping, And it always goes back to the original position of where the knobs were set. So normally it would go back to the sweep function, but if I turn that off, and I adjust my angles and change my tool. So if I'm just doing a bunch of drilling, I can just leave it. So it automatically goes back to that function. Uh, the other thing I added uh, since my first video is if the, if, everything, if the nozzles are all the way out the sides, like say if I don't want to use them, I'm just 
not using cold for something I have them out to the sides and I do a tool change uh, so all the way out to the extreme far ends will automatically disable the uh, the, uh, the the tool change uh, sweep function do a, a dry test here. I mean a wet test. Sorry, wet test. Okay. I'm going to turn my coin on here. with both of them. You just turn one off so I can leave one at the bottom just to uh, hit the hole and then use the top one here to clean the uh, any build up off of the uh, off the drill or even I could turn the air on and just have it puffing air out every couple seconds to uh, blow any of the you know pieces of uh, metal that wrap around the drill bit something like that. So if I'm doing a tool change, change your tool. go back and adjust so you got a short tool all the way up there so that's the maximum that's the that's at the extreme stop end of the servos so the servos will not go any farther than that uh, that's the actual physical stop within there so I don't run it up into the top of the mill and so that's 60 degrees I figured that's more than enough these are 180 degree servos so there's more than enough there for that. 